Um, so firstly, we've got healing solution for 1a. Are you happy with this 4a minus 12? Yeah. Yeah. 4a minus 12. So what Hyung has done is he's multiplied, and I like to, I often like to do this even on my book so that I can see the working. I have this 4, and it multiplies to the first thing inside the brackets, and it also multiplies to the second thing. We call this the distributive law, because that multiplication by four, it sort of distributes to everyone, okay? And that's why we have the four lots of A, and this is four lots of, um, yeah, minus three, I guess, which is why the minus sign comes along for the ride, okay? Now this one here, we haven't seen many of them like this, but you can see what I did here, how the four distributes to everything inside the brackets. Well, this three, is also going to distribute to everything inside the bracket. So first it goes to the 4x, that's 3 lots of 4x, uh, 12x there. Um, the 3 also distributes to the y, there it is, and lastly it distributes to the minus 8. So are you happy with that? Thumbs up. Okay, great. Now, this last one here, I deliberately, you know I like to throw curveballs at you at the end. I give you ones that you can just kind of get into straight away, and then I like to see what are you going to do with this one. Now the first question I have is, what do you all think of this working? No. So he, Hyung looks suspicious. Okay, is anyone else suspicious? Or everyone else is... Anve, you've got some different ideas. Who got, who got a different answer to this? I don't want to know what it is yet. I just want to know who got a different answer. One, two, three. Okay. Less than, way less than half the class. So I want us to think about this, right? One of the great things about having working is I can look at this and without even asking the person who placed it here, I can work out what the person was thinking by looking at the working they've done here, okay? Now, the first thing that I think I saw actually being written down was these lengths here, okay? Now, if these are indeed 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters, if that were true, let's just forget about whether it is or not, would you agree with this result? That would be the area, wouldn't it? Okay. So if this is true, then this follows. Okay. But then the question becomes, is it true? If so, why? And if not, why not? Does anyone have any thoughts on that for me? What are you thinking, Jessica? Because it's a square, all sides will be equal, like just diagonal, or like all the lengths and everything will be equal. So one of the things we do know about this shape is it's a square. And one of the main things about a square is that all of the lengths are the same. But you have to be kind of careful with like, what does all of the lengths mean? There are four lengths that in a square are the same. Which four lengths are they? Sure. Sides. Yeah, it's the sides, right? So this is a side up here and over here. And then these guys here, which would mean that they're equal to each other, right? But this guy across the middle, is that one of the sides? The answer is, in this case, no, right? Um, in fact, that's why we call it the diagonal, which literally means going across something. Um, in a circle, we would call it the diameter, because dia means across, right? So in fact, these lengths are not going to match this one. And in fact, you can check this out yourself. Just draw on your page. Um, and this, for this, use a ruler, OK? Um, you may have already done this, which is great. Draw any square you like, any square you like. Uh, your lengths can be anything, just so long as it is actually a square. If you've got grid paper, that makes it even easier. And then I want you to measure what that length is, okay? The length, whatever, you know, however tall or wide you make your square. You will need a ruler for this part, right? Once you measure that out, in fact, I'm going to do the same because I've got a ruler up here. Once you do that, can you just mark in however tall or however wide, how big your square is, okay? My one, oh, this is upside down. My square happens to be 9 centimeters tall, so it's probably a little larger than the square you have on your page. Okay. Now once you've done that, I then also want you to take your ruler, and now can you measure the diagonal? Just go ahead and measure that length. Can you do that for me? Get a ruler out, you'll need a ruler. And um, go ahead and place it all the way from corner to corner. Oh, I'm like hitting the roof here. Okay, now, in every case, um, even though we've all drawn different sized squares, what you should find is that height or width, whichever one, as compared to the diagonal, I expect they're going to be different. Has anyone measured both of those for me? Hey, Louise, what length did you get for the side and then the diagonal? One centimeter. Yep, and? And 1.4. One and 1.4. Okay, can I get someone else who gave me another length? Yeah, here. 2.5? And what was it again? 3.5? Yeah. 2.5, 3.5. Okay. Um, Roshan, do you want to give me one more? Um, 
the sides were two centimeters and the diagonal was three. Okay, two and three. So in every case, and tell me if this is like nod to me, um, your side is going to be shorter than your diagonal. Is that correct? Yep. So I've got, I actually happen to have nine and twelve. So what we've worked out so far, which is not a very elegant way to do it, but it still is true, we've worked out that these are actually going to be different lengths. Okay, so I'm just going to rub this out. Just as a, um, a fun fact, right? I asked you before, if these really were 10, would this be the area? You all nodded to me, right? This is something that we would call um, a carried forward mistake. There was a mistake we made earlier, but then like you knew what the area of a square was, right? So sometimes in a question like this, just because you have one thing incorrect doesn't mean the whole thing is worthless, right? So sometimes you'll see this little acronym, particularly on a test, the, the marker is trying to communicate to you, hey, this stuff was okay, but something went wrong earlier on, okay? Has anyone else tried to work out what these two lengths are? And I saw a hand go up and then down. Are you like not sure or? No. Okay, Hyung, what did you get? Uh, the area is 50. Okay, so you've got, a, you've got a number for me right away, which is fantastic. Um, how did you get that number 50? You're, you're saying it's half of what this previous answer said. Where did you get that number from? I used Pythagoras theorem. Ah, okay, can I just pause you right on that here before I, I get you to continue that answer? Hyung's used Pythagoras, right? Now this question didn't tell you to use Pythagoras at any point, did it? Did anyone else use Pythagoras? A few hands? You were trying? Calculator was getting confused? Uh, okay, like a something, 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 like three, four, five or something like that, okay? Which is not a bad way to go about it, but as you can see, it doesn't quite work, does it? Um, hey, what did you do? You used Pythagoras as well? Can I ask you a question? How did you know to use Pythagoras? Like, I didn't tell you to. I didn't even say that there were any particular shapes in there. How did you know? What, what made you think of using Pythagoras? There are triangles here. I can see a couple, and we've actually got a whole bunch extra. What kind of triangles, though, is Pythagoras useful for? Yeah, right angle. right angle triangles. Very good. And you can see, what's the piece of information on this diagram that tells you it's right angled? Yeah, go ahead, Vishaka. This corner here, this corner here, this is going to be a right angle. It is. I didn't put a right angle on there though. How did you know that it was going to be a right angle? Louise? First of all, it's a square, but also because of the lines on each side are going to be Yeah, fantastic. So you've got, you've got lines that do indicate it for you if it were a nice diagram. But even if it were a terrible diagram, I mean, I kind of freehand drew this. The key is that, as Louise mentioned, it's a square. Every angle in a square is going to be right angled, okay? So then you can go ahead now, how do we do this? Um, we've got like a branch of maths that helps us and we don't know what lengths are, we can give it a name. What do we call that? When we, when we put a name on something, like a, when we put something where you don't know the number is, you put something in front of the number, we put a variable or a pronoun in front of that, right? So maybe you could have called that, did anyone give it a name? A or S for side, if you liked, I heard, I heard that. And then you can use Pythagoras on this, right? Can someone tell me what equation, I'm going to use an easier to read color than green. What equation could I write that has S in it that uses Pythagoras? Yeah. 10 squared minus S squared equals S squared. Okay, wait, sorry. 10 squared, whoop, let me write that again. 10 squared minus, minus S, S squared equals S squared. S squared. So this comes from Pythagoras. How does, why is this? Our statement from Pythagoras. What do you get from that? Yeah. Because s squared plus s squared equals s squared. <laughs> yeah, very good. These are really the same thing, but from two different points of view. Um, these are the two shorter sides. You square them. If you add that together, you'll get the square of the longest side, right? Now, just because we're taking a bit of time here, I'm going to take a bit of a shortcut through here. I think we can work out what's going on here if we add s squared to both sides add s squared to both sides. That gives me this. Can anyone tell me what 10 squared is? 100. Last I checked it was 100. And um, I don't have, I don't want really 2s squared. I actually just want, as was written before, I just want one of those s squareds, right? So what do I do to both sides to get just one of them? I can divide by 2. Uh, I'm going to write the s squared over here. And that gives me what Hyung suggested before. 50, like that. Okay. Are you happy with that? Does that make sense? Now, just before we leave this off, one of the things I love about questions like this is that's not the only way. You didn't have to do this by Pythagoras if you didn't want to, right? We actually helpfully have these extra lines on here. I just want to ask you guys, see this length here? This one that I'm highlighting in blue. If the whole diagonal is 10, what do you think that length is there? Five. It's 5. How did you know? Where did you get that? 
it's half, it's halfway across that diagonal. In a square, not all shapes do this, right? But in a square, the diagonals, does anyone know the name? It starts with a B. When you um, cut something in half, does anyone know? Bisect, Bisect very good. Um, bi just means in two, and sect means cut, like section, okay? So they bisect, that's the halfway point. So if this is 10, you told me this is five, right? Well, if that's five, I think you can tell me this length as well. Can anyone tell me that length? Also going to be five. And another cool thing about squares, again, not all shapes do this, but the diagonals are not just going to bisect, they're also going to be at right angles. They're going to be, what's our fancy word for that? It starts with a P, really long word. When the things are at right angles, they're perpendicular. You remember that? So if I've got these things at right angles, can you tell me what the area of this little triangle will be? Half, what's the area of a triangle again? Half base times height. What are the height and the base here? They're both, they're both five and five. That's the base and the height, if you like. Half times five times five. So that's that triangle. How many of those triangles, let me just fill it in there, how many of these triangles do you see in my square? Can you count them? I can count four, right? One, two, three, four. So really the whole square is four of these guys. I'll let you go ahead and check out if you think that that ends up equaling 50 as well. Okay?